All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Alpha Basins channel. I'm gonna have to forgive me for a little bit lower tone tonight because it is late and my wife is sleeping, so I'm gonna try not to wake her up. Um, I did get a comment that was rather relevant and brought up some good points, so um, I apologize, brother man. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing that, but uh, he says, Hey, this is a really good initiative. Also, could you go a few levels down, like setting up themes, customizing a terminal? A video where you build a system from Arch Linux to complete Hyperland setup would be great. Doesn't matter if it's way too long. It's a lot to ask, but it would be a great help. So I figured I'd dive into this one right quick and show you guys how to install a theme. So what I would do in my workflow, and there's probably other ways to do this, but <laughs> we'll see if this works. I would go to gnomelook.org. And upon loading in, I would find GTK3 or four themes down here. And you can scroll through, find you something cool. This one's filtered by new ones. I haven't actually looked through these in a while, so I should probably do that sometime. People are creative and I love it. We'll go ahead and pick one that's traditional here for now. We'll go ahead with Nordic. You click on download and choose your theme color of choice just gonna go ahead and pick darker download all right so we got us a theme and now let's go ahead and choose a full icon theme this one I'm just gonna uh, go by rating and uh, we'll do my favorite I like Cora <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. I've already got Cora gray. Let's go ahead and add Cora green in here as well. And might as well. Where are they at? Sorry, it's really late. I'm really tired here. Where the heck are they at? There they are. Cursors. So I'm still working with cursors. I have not been able to consistently get cursor theming to... Uh, basically be consistent across all windows so take this with a grain of salt really anyway we'll go ahead and just pick one here download modern all right so we've got us an icon pack a color scheme and some cursors so i'm going to go ahead and open the downloads directory and I'm going to open with arc and extract I've got CLI aliases but I figured for the new users we'll go this route open with arc we're gonna go ahead and extract to the downloads portion here and then Nordic as well all right so now that that's done we can go ahead and delete the tar files you can click on them and I recommend you click on them because a lot of them will come with uh, different different versions so basically what I would do is just pick one of these and I would paste it out of here and delete the next I probably should have kept the other one but I'm tired so we're gonna try and expedite this here so I'm gonna go with Cora green here delete the rest of those and then of course we've got our cursors which this one looks to be there so we're going to take our cursor icon theme here and our cora green we're going to control x to cut go to our home directory control h to reveal hidden directories here and then you want to look for your dot icons folder which is somewhere in here there we go so we're going to go ahead and paste those in there we will go back to our downloads directory and we will cut our color scheme with control x again and we're going to drop that in dot themes and where is it at there you are all right now that we've got that done the first thing you want to do is make sure you have nwg look installed so you sudo pacman dash capital s uh, nwg look press enter put in your password I've obviously already got it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel. But once you've got that installed, you can open up Rofi here. 
and type nwg look and it'll show you gtk settings now i do recommend having a file explorer or a terminal uh, file manager open for this one because if you go into where is dot icons there we are dot icons here you're going to see that if we go over to icon theme now you're going to see Cora Green here. So that is the new icon theme. If you click apply, you notice how in here it created this default folder. Well, I noticed that uh, whenever this default folder is there, my applications like Vivaldi and Steam and a, a few other applications actually fail to launch. As long as this folder exists, those applications fail to launch. So I've made a habit of just completely deleting the default folder once it's created by NWG look. I just delete it and then suddenly my browser and Steam and a few other applications uh, start working again. So uh, if you notice that those are not working, that's how I handle that. Next we've got mouse cursor. So this is the new mouse cursor. You can see by clicking on it, it actually applied the mouse there. So we can click apply. And there is our default folder again. But now you can see the mouse is changed there. But this is the consistency that I was talking about. If I if it's on Unar, it's themed. If it's on NWG Look, it's themed. But if I drag it over my desktop, it loses its theme. So I don't know how to attain the... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, consistency, for lack of better terms. I don't know why... It does not apply when I'm over my desktop itself. So that's a little odd. But last but not least, we have our color scheme. So by clicking on that and clicking apply, now your theme is applied. Again, I'm going to go ahead and yeet us, delete us the default folder in the icons. It doesn't seem to create one in the themes. So it's specific to icons, whatever NWG look is doing with their default uh, directory creation and the index theme um, created in there now that we've recreated it whatever's in this file is causing a problem and I don't know why and it's very likely that it's actually due to my own system so if I open up another window here and I go to dot config sorry I'm just kind of brainstorming in the middle of this damn video but I might as well right maybe we'll learn something and where in the hell's my configuration at Hyper, where are you at? There we are. Okay, so we got configs and we want to go to environment. So I'm wondering if there's something here that would cause the conflict. And of course, yes, maybe that. I really don't know. I don't know if maybe I comment that out because it's trying to set colloid cursors uh, forcefully, which is fine and dandy as long as you're not using NWG look. But if you apply via NWG look, then obviously there's going to be conflict there, isn't there? So, anyway, maybe that'll fix it, maybe you won't. And now, if you didn't already know how to install a theme on Hyperland, or really any desktop environment, this works on KDE as well as GNOME. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you find this helpful, and I will dig into uh, the terminal customization. I actually have a custom terminal um, set up myself, and I do this through... Uh, this is actually available in the DOM files, if I remember right. So if I go to config and zsh, I've got a theme, cd themes, and nano aqua. And if I look at my theme here, I've got a customized prompt. So we will go over this at a later date. But for now, it is a little late, so I'm going to hit the hay. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care.